Hey, welcome back to the series on ChatGPT plugin. The main plugin we are looking at today is called Smart Slides. So this plugin is an AI powered tool for rapid uh, PowerPoint creation. Just input the data you need and the AI does it for you. So you don't have to worry about how to get the data and all. I'll show you that. But to uh, I have installed and enabled this plugin, but we need some data. Uh, you could do it through uh, many other uh, ways, right? So you can use your own upload a PDF or you can uh, scrape data from the web uh, or ask ChatGPT to generate some data and do a PDF with it. So for the purpose of this today, uh, there is something called World Bank data. So I, I would also be using this plugin. So this plugin gives us the data and I'll show you what you can do with it. So I have both this plugin enabled. So let's basically ask. Uh, so um, so World Bank data gives you data on GDP, everything, right? So you can uh, look at it. So I am for the I'm I would be doing a separate video on the World Bank chat GPT plugin. So this plugin mainly deals with smart slides. So let's look at how we can do that. So let me basically say uh, generate the GDP data for China in past two decades and how it became the world's second largest economy using World Bank plugin. So yeah, it will give us the data for it. So you should see it using the World Bank plugin and it the query term I've asked is China's GDP. So it's going to summarize some data points for us. And we will use this plugin to generate uh, the next one. So yeah, it's basically talking about uh, uh, the World Bank data provides uh, what this plugin is about and China's micro microeconomic scenario and multiple other stuff. Uh, and it is giving some GDP will be comparable to Latin America, Turkey, adjusted for purchasing power parity. And it's also talking about China, uh, China's economic update in 2014. So yeah, if you uh, want to do it for someone else, you can do it too. So that's totally different. And uh, uh, the idea is just look at the concept how you can create a PPT and if you don't like this topic you can do it for some other topic later on. So the idea is just that. So how you can generate some data and I do know many of us spend decent amount of time creating the PPT to get the first draft right but using this we will have our PPT ready in a flash of time. So we don't have to spend too much of uh, effort on that. And that would help us to get some good data here. So once this is done, my next prompt, let me keep it ready. So all I now need to do is based off the above inputs, make a PPT, I can just say make a PPT on how China became the second largest economy and I could also ask it to do this. So use bullets, bullet, bullet points uh, link, hyperlinks to articles and charts for any data points. So let's see how it's going to do that. So yeah, this should now create it. And if you want to look at the documentation, this is basically what uh, the plugin does. So it allows you to create a slideshow or a PowerPoint. You can use to generate it with headings, content and other stuff. So you can create the slide data. We have already looked at how to do the slide data and use the get presentation link method. So in this we can specify that and 
uh, we don't need to do download presentation method because by default it's going to provide us a link so we don't have to do that so yeah let's wait for it to create a ppt with the data points we requested and we'll open the article and i'll attach this for you for a uh, review probably i don't think i can provide a, a ppt uh, if i can up if i can't upload a ppt i will provide uh, convert the ppt to pdf and provide it to you or uh, you can go ahead and try it on your own the prompts will be available to you to try it and uh, let's see how this would look like so yeah it's now in the conclusion so it took all the points and these are the heading content and you can see for each pda ppt page how this is doing it so and it also has a download link we will uh, wait for the complete link to be available because it's still generating the link if i click on it it won't work for now so we have to wait for the link to be complete and yeah now this is done and if i click on this it downloaded the ppt for me right and i if i open it now we will now see that ppt with the data points we requested so all this would have smart slides so if you don't like it you have to go to a template and change it and uh, uh, basically introduction into the second world largest economy rapid growth of the decade key factors and it's talking about potential gdp likely to moderate actual gdp likely to grow china's total economy may surpass link to the full article so it has an hyperlink to the full article and on top of it uh, economic growth in 2014 slower than the 10.4 of the previous decade real estate corrections and other stuff and again there are article links and on top of it soes contribute 23 to 28% share in employment between 5 to uh, 16% link to the article how much to state owned enterprises contribute so yeah this links could be better and uh, the basic idea is it's able to create a draft for you with less effort you can transform this to a uh, production ready presentation at work or at school so that's basically the idea behind here and uh, this is a global shock uh, on covid-19 and other stuff and then it's also talking about in us dollars in uh, 1980 and 1991 how it was 300 to 370 dollars purchasing power parity and other stuff so yeah basically that's all it's talking about and i do know that uh, this might not be the best presentation you might have looked at but with for the amount of data to transform into a presentation was impressive that's why i wanted to cover this plugin so i hope this helps thank you for joining